In this video we're going to have a look at making a simple image carousel using two carousels, one for navigation, one for the image. We'll use Advanced Custom Fields Pro for the repeater field for the images. We'll use Oxy Extras for the carousels and of course we'll use Oxygen Builder for the website. So to get started what we've already done is loaded the uh, standard uh, templates for the standard install and the next step in the process then is to create the custom fields for the images in the carousel. Head over to custom fields we'll add a new field group and we're going to call this field group let's call that uh, images and what we'll do then is add a repeater and we'll call that upload images and then we'll have the actual image so we'll call that the image and we'll make that an image file and what we're going to do immediately then is return the image URL in the return format that's to make sure that the image will display in the carousel and in the repeater fields then we hit publish in the default setting the post type for the custom field uh, group is set to post and that's exactly where we want it for this video so to get started we'll add some data first to a post so that when we create the template in oxygen builder we'll actually see the content pulling through so we'll head over to our post and we're then going to add some rows there are a total of six images. So one, two, three, right, let's add the images. Head over to our media library. And we're going to select that one. That one. Selected. And the orange and then the final image. Right, the image is selected. We will update the post and now we know that there is some information that will pull through. Then we head over to Oxygen Builder. We head over to the templates and we're going to go to the blog post template and we'll edit that with Oxygen. Oxygen loading. Oxygen loaded. Let's add to the post layout. So what we'll do then is after the content we're going to add another section. And in that section we'll add two carousels. So we'll add over to Oxygen Extras. We'll look at the carousel builder. And then we'll add a second carousel builder. Because we want the two, one for navigation and one for the content. We'll let the images run along in the second carousel. And in the top carousel, we'll actually display the image. So in the bottom carousel, what we're going to do is we're going to head over to syncing. And we will use as navigation for another carousel. We will then enable that setting. And you'll see here that we have the selector that we can use or we can create our own and we will use that then to link to the top carousel we head over to the top carousel and here we will update the selector main yes that's correct and now what we're going to do is link the advanced custom fields. So we head over to the structure. You'll see there we have our carousel builder. In the carousel content, we have pre-selected as default the repeater. So there we have the repeater selected. And now we add the repeater under helpers. And we head over to the repeater. And in that repeater, 
we have the standard div and inside that we'll add one more div and then we'll add the image and we'll right with the image added we're now going to head over to the data option now before we do that in the repeater we need to set our query for advanced custom fields and upload images otherwise that field isn't available when we select the image I'll then go back to select the image and now you'll see that the repeater field is available and I can select the image and insert so there we have inserted our image into the field and what we'll do now is we'll just make sure that uh, that is 100% in width and we'll also make sure that that div is also 100% in width right so that is 100% in width and we'll just make sure that the content in those divs is centered so there we have our image in the center and there we have the various slides if I save that now and I head over to my post and I refresh you'll see that the slide is working with the images coming through one slide at a time right what I can do now is head over to the second carousel and I'm going to follow the same procedure make sure repeater is selected in the uh, content source then I'm going to add the repeater once the repeat is added I head over to query advanced custom fields and the upload images repeater I then apply the parameters and then what I'm going to do is head over to the template I'm going to add a div and in that div I'm going to add an image and that image I will head over to data repeater fields the image and insert so now I have the image in the bottom and the image in the top and you'll see it's the same images but we want the bottom repeat uh, bottom repeater in the carousel builder to be the navigation so now what I'm going to do is head over to cells and now I'm able to set a width value or the number of visible cells so in this case let's make the number of visible cells 3 uh, we can set the cell height so maybe we want to make sure that that is just on let's make that uh, we could say 50 pixels or we don't put anything in and then it proportionately loads the images and I think there we could go to four, maybe even load all six images that could work as well and let's put a bit of space between the cells so let's make that 20 pixels so that it's nicely spaced if I go to the top carousel I think what I'm going to do there is I'm going to remove the dots we don't need the dots so I look for page dots and disable the dots are gone and we also don't need the navigation arrows I'm going to get rid of those navigation arrows and also then select none so no navigation arrows in the top then I'm going to hit save I'm going to head back to the post let's just have a look at what that's doing so there we have our post with our images and you'll see that as I click nothing happens so to fix that we head back to this carousel builder the second one we go over to syncing again and we copy that selector we go back to the top carousel and you'll see that the selector has changed and we now put the correct selector in I head back to the front end and now when I click you'll see the right images are 
pulled through the way that we want them. We uh, can do a couple of things here. We might want to add a background in our repeater um, of the color black. Maybe we just want to use that as a background color. Let's go a bit darker. Right, so that will just help to frame the top images from the navigation bar at the bottom. And quite easily now we can scroll to the different images. So there we've set up the link uh, between the images in the navigation and the images that appear in the carousel. And it's really that easy to set up um, a gallery.